In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to take the call conversion in Google Ads and how to configure that through Google Tag Manager so your phone number will dynamically swap on your website. If that's the type of video you're looking for, stick around. Hey everyone, my name is Ray and I'm going to be taking you through this guide, so let's get right into it. As I'm sure you are aware, if somebody is to click on your call extension within a Google ad, it'll dial that phone number for you and take you directly to the website. However, what if somebody clicks on one of your ads, goes to your website, and then you would like to dynamically change your number? This is exactly the tool that you, can, that you would want to use through Google Tag Manager to ensure that gets set up properly. So in order to do that, you need to make sure you have a call extension set up on Google ads, and then you place a piece of code through Google Tag Manager, which I'm going to take you through right now. Head over to the Google Ads platform, go to Ads and Extensions, and then go to the Extensions tab. Ensure that you create a call extension. Put in your phone number that you would like to use. Ensure you save that. And now once that piece is done, that'll ensure that your ads are now eligible to have a call extension serving on your ads. So now if someone clicks on that option right there, it'll dial your phone number, but the phone number on your website is not going to dynamically change. So in order to do that piece, you need to set up a conversion within your Google Ads account. So click on the Tools and Settings option in the upper right-hand corner. Click on Conversions here. Once you have that piece, we're going to click on New Conversion Action and then select Phone Calls. Now, once you select phone calls here, you're going to want to change the number on your website. So calls to a phone number on your website. Click on continue. And then you can label this just um, phone calls website or just some kind of naming convention that you would recognize. You can assign values to it and all that fun stuff. If you don't have that piece right now, you can just assign it as like $1. Best case scenario, you're taking your average order value across all your phone calls, all that fun stuff for CLV and lifetime value. Let's just say I want to assign 205 bucks. I want to count just one phone call per user right now. And then let's just say this is the phone number on my website. You can also display that phone number and then you can determine what you would like to count as a conversion. So normally what I like to set here, depending on your business is between 15 and 60 seconds. This is going to vary drastically based on your business type. So you can always come back in here later down the line and change this when to count a conversion, but I would recommend between 15 and 60 seconds based on your business type. Click through window. This is just based on the amount of time when somebody clicks on your ads once you count that conversion type and then the attribution model. So just depending on what modeling you would like to use, click this. If you're not entirely sure, I'll have a video in the upper right hand corner regarding attribution modeling. Create that and continue, and then Google's going to give us a tag. Now, I would highly recommend to set this up through Google Tag Manager because that is the simplest way to do it. I will have a video on how to install Google Tag Manager on your website. It's ridiculously easy. Again, that link will be in the upper right-hand corner and down in the description. So we're going to click on Google Tag Manager here, and then we're going to have a conversion ID and conversion label that we can set up through our Tag Manager account to configure this ID. So if we head on over to Tag Manager, we're going to create a new tag using this conversion ID and conversion label. We also need to make sure that we set up conversion linker as well, which if you do not have that set up on your account, it's another really easy step to ensure that things are set up. So Google is assigning the proper tagging information to all your cookie sessions. So go back to Tag Manager. We're going to create a new tag. So click on Tags in the left-hand menu, go to New. I am then going to create Google Ads phone call conversion website. And then the tag you're going to want to choose here is if you just search for phone, or maybe it's call. There you go. You want to make sure you search for call, not for phone. And then you'll notice that Google Ads here, Google Ads calls from website conversion is the option you would like to select. Pick that option. And then you want to pick the number on your website. So you want to make sure that this is exactly how it's displayed on your website. So you want to copy and paste that directly. I've just got a phone number here that I'm going to place in. You are then going to grab your conversion ID and your conversion label from Google Ads. So jump back to Google Ads, select the conversion ID and the conversion label. And then the triggering, you want this to apply to every single page. So you would you'd want this on all pages on your website. The only instance you may not want that is if you have different phone numbers on different pages of your website and it's very dynamic and very large and, and uh, it might be tough to scale. I would say for 90% of businesses, using this all pages is a good first step. So start here. 
click save. And then if you recall, Google is also recommending to add the conversion linker tag as well. So in order to do that, you just go back to tags here, which you should be there, go to new. We're going to label this conversion linker. We are going to search for conversion linker, which is right here. And then if you have cross-domain tracking, you might want to select um, this piece right here if you have different domains, so you may check that option right there. I also like to enable linking on all page URLs, so I, that's typically a best practice that I follow. The only time you would want to select these other options is if you have cross-domain tracking or if you have like advanced cookie settings. Like I said, for 90% of users, this first option, you should be good to go. So I've got a conversion linker here to ensure that my tracking is paired up properly with my cookie data. And then I want to go to triggering to all pages. I'm going to save that. So the steps that we did, just to be clear, is we created the Google Ads phone call tracker pixel and tag, placed that, paired it to the conversion ID and conversion label, and then we also created the conversion linker tag. Now, once that is complete, you can click next, and then you are done here on Google Ads, and then you can go back to Google Tag Manager and submit that. So you can click submit here when you're done. Like I always do, make sure you do a descriptive name so you know exactly what you're doing. So I'm going to label this as Google Ads Dynamic Number Swap. And then we can publish that piece. And then just like that, you're done. So that is how you can easily set up and track phone calls that are coming through through your call extensions and through your website. So that'll dynamically swap the numbers. If you are finding good results and if you have maybe 50% or more offline conversions, so if users are converting off of your website by calling in, this is where I would highly recommend to get a third party tool, something like call tracking metrics, which I'm gonna go over very briefly at a high level. Call Tracking Metrics is a third-party tool that allows you to set up custom and dynamic phone call options that also scores and records your phone calls. It'll create events that'll pass through to Google Analytics, and then you can import those conversions directly into Google Ads and start optimizing for those types of conversions. I would say if you went this option by creating a custom phone call conversion and you're seeing really good results and you want to take that to the next level, I would then recommend you start exploring a tool like Call Tracking Metrics or Call Rail to really take that to the next level. So this will allow you to get, you know, record phone calls and then also pass through events to Google Analytics. If you would like more information on this tool specifically, leave a comment down below and I can make a more in-depth video when it comes to call tracking metrics and or call rail. And that'll get you started in the right direction. If you are looking for more content like this, please consider subscribing. I release videos once a week in regards to digital marketing. And it'll also ensure that this type of content gets recommended to awesome folks just like you. Until next time, appreciate you all. Talk to you later. Bye.